This is Alex, you and you're watching Rage and Run Review, Transformers 3 Edition. So what am I going to talk about in this episode? Well, there's not a whole lot of news out there because we know the movie is done, so there's no more behind the scenes stuff, and they're just starting to put out the official images out from the movie, and we're getting a trailer with Fast Five in a couple of days. All we're really waiting for is official marketing material, so I don't really have a whole lot to talk about. But I just saw some new promotional material, which is like some official images of Bumblebee, Shockwave, and some more photos of Sentinel Prime in action. So here they are. You might want to check them out. Click the links in the description box below and just check them out in their full high res glory. I thought I'd make a little topic of discussion while we're all watching this because, uh, what the hell is that? Because we're all Transformers fans here. But how much of a Transformers fan are you? No, that's actually not the question. Well, speaking of, while we're on that topic, I might as well tell you how much of a Transformers fan I am. Well, you're not a Transformers fan unless you have a pair of these. Transformers PJs. Well, this is just the pants only. And you're also not a big Transformers fan unless you have a pair of these. Anyways, that's not what I'm here to talk about. Actually, someone posted up a question. YouTube member Yuriqui, I hope I pronounced his name properly. He, he posted a statement on one of my videos, on my latest video, asking me, you would cry if they canceled the movie, right? And I just thought to myself, that is a pretty good question because what would I do if they canceled the movie? What would you do? This actually reminded me of another question that my, one of my friends asked because most of my friends know that I'm pretty hardcore when it comes to Transformers and, uh, and Michael Bay movies and just like, you know, really fanboy type movies. But this one, Transformers Dark of the Moon, is the most anticipated movie of the year and for me as, as, as a movie fan. He, he asked me like two years ago, if you're lining up in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen and you just got a call on the phone telling you that I was in, like my friend was in a serious car accident and what would you do? And then I actually took some time to think about it and the fact that I took time to think about it means I am truly a dedicated fan. No, 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 it was very thought provoking. I thought to myself, it was opening night at midnight. I'm in the middle of the lineup and I get this phone call and my friend is in a car accident. Then I had more questions to ask him. I asked him, is is the um, are you still are you still alive? Like are are you still like can you still function? Like are you being driven to the hospital? Are you already in the hospital? Are you on life support? Will you be able to survive if I didn't come? So I'm asking him all these questions because is it so bad that I really have to see you? Like are are you gonna like not be around tomorrow? Because yeah, if it's that serious, then yeah, I'll I'll get out of the line to see you. The movie's always gonna be there, but if. The, 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 the accident isn't that serious that, and if you're like unconscious and me being there doesn't really make a difference, then isn't it kind of pointless for me to be there? Cause you won't really know I'm there. So that's my answer. Well, that's not really my answer, but it was just kind of an eye opener for me to, about how much the movies really mean to me and, and how much it means to, for me to be there on the opening night. So what would I do if they canceled the movie? After all this anticipation, let's say two weeks, before opening day, they cancel it. And I thought really hard about this. And I think, obviously I'd be disappointed. I think everybody would be disappointed. But what would I do? Would I, you know, would I freak out about it? Would I go ballistic? Would I take out my, my, my M16 or G36 uh, and start shooting everybody? Would I like burn my all my Transformers related belongings? Or would I uh, make a website condemning the studios and Michael Bay? I wouldn't do any of that stuff. You know what I'd do? I'd do absolutely nothing. Life Goes On is just a movie. Yes, it's a movie that means a lot to me, but it won't affect me to the point where I'm just like some whiny crying fanboy, which just freaks out because something like this happened. If anything, someone is gonna redo the whole, the, the sequel all over again. Or, or remake it or you know it's it's still gonna be there I will feel extremely disappointed I really thought long and hard about this well I shouldn't put long and hard in the same sentence it's just not right when I, I read that question about it being cancelled I just thought about it a lot try to make that scenario believable and really try to think that it actually happened and I really didn't think that much about it I just thought that well, there's a whole bunch of other movies that are coming out this summer that are really big. I'll be disappointed. I'll be really, really upset, but I'm not going to be upset to the point where I'm just going to freak out. Anyways, that's my big question for you in this episode. Since I don't have actual news, what would you do or say if you found out that 
there was a big announcement saying that Transformers Dark of the Moon was cancelled. What would happen next for you, if anything at all? For me, not a whole lot. Life goes on. It's not that big of a deal. I've been anticipating this movie for two years, so there will be a, like, a certain level of disappointment. But, at the end of the day, life goes on. So, answer the question in the comments section below. Next video I'm gonna be doing will be a reaction video to the next trailer. I'm Alex Yu, I hope I have some more substantial news for you in my next episode. You're watching the Raging Ronin Review, peace. Paul Walker anymore, you have Lucas Black, which I found very distracting because of his really thick southern accent and it just really... Uh, <laughs>